you the garden progression as this beautiful sunset goes down. Not the best day, it was interrupted by something, but a good day nevertheless. So let me share the sunset. Actually dipping my feet in the spring. And let's share the garden. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good, I don't wanna get up. Wanna, wanna come with me, bud? So I'm just gonna show you this sunset. Come on, bud. Yeah, just beautiful. So beautiful basil, garlic, chives, regular chives. Parsley, dill, thyme, cilantro, sage, two types of sages, tons of bok choy and lettuces, kale, kohlrabi, broccoli, and I planted some flowers around the back. Stop eating the chives. <laughs> so incredibly peaceful. The, um, these are highly poisonous to dogs, by the way. Still got some uh, really yummy purslane over there growing. Just replanted that. Yeah, just beautiful. And say goodnight. <laughs> Such a beautiful, peaceful night. Almost everything grown from the garden. Love the sound of the birds. This is what peace is to me. Have some hearts of palm, fresh cucumber, tomato, a little bit of evening primrose there, and the salad dressing I made from olive oil, lemon juice, chives from the garden, fresh garlic, and I believe I put some liquid aminos. I'm gonna add avocado, very nourishing. I've got some nori chopped up on there, garlic chives. So I just made these raw vegan cinnamon rolls, so delicious. I guarantee you they are far more delicious than they are attractive. So incredibly good, wow. I'm doing a reel on this. You can check it out on my Instagram, Raw Chef Andrea. So this is my Pearl Resonant Light. I actually have two extensions to this. This is Maverick. Um, I've got it on the booster bank, Feel Good, because, you know, Lewis and I have a day together. It's gonna be a challenge, but maybe it won't be and the adrenal balance, and I'm gonna use this as I cleanse my colon. Yeah, so this machine in particular is about 11,000. Needs cleaned, actually, um, because I have the two handles. One of the best biohacking machines you can get. So here I am in my sauna. I wanted to kind of cut this off at the knees. I don't wanna to get too scantily clad for all of you on YouTube. And, you know, to be candid with all of you, I want to share a little something I've been going through since I moved. This was right after I moved in last August, and it was a very unplanned move. It happened very quick, and I've got to be honest with you, uh, it really took its toll. Relocation is no joke especially when you do it alone by yourself uh of course i hired moves i had help but i feel like i'm just now getting settled i feel like i'm just now regaining my strength and you know moving twice in a two-year period 
was a lot on my body. Uh, I feel like I also was dealing with closing out karmic cycles, cycles that no longer served me, but really with people who were holding on to me and didn't want to let me go and didn't want to let me see, you know, that I could cultivate peace. So when that happens, it's draining. So really, the reason I haven't been posting my weekly videos here lately, although I have been keeping up on my Raw Chef Andrea Instagram page, my Andrea Lee Cox Facebook page, and my Andrea Lee Cox TikTok page, is because I've been exhausted. And, you know, I pride myself on being authentic with all of you. And I want to share with you that, you know, in this time, during this duration, from August until now, there's been a lot of sleeping, a lot of resting, a lot of spending time in the garden or on hikes, or just simply sitting out back with my dogs. There's been a lot of self-reflection and slow living, and I really like it. You know, there's something about a sense of freedom and peace when you take yourself away from the hustle culture. And as women, we are not supposed to have all these responsibilities on us. It reaps horrible effects on the hormonal system. And these are all things I've been really thinking about lately. Like, you know, I feel like I was in a long-term relationship and then five years ago when I left, I became this bionic woman carrying all this weight on her shoulders. And at some point, we have to look at it from an above perspective and say, you know, we need help in this life. We need, we need partners. We need community. We need, we can't do it all on our own. And so that's what my self-reflection has been about. So a lot of you have been emailing me like, where are the videos? Where are your recipes? Where, you know, where are your, your readings on the detox intuitive, which is my sister YouTube channel. You guys, I'm in a space right now of reflection slow living, introspection, and healing, and growing some serious food. I love you guys.